and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest Builders. Ah, oh, my tower is actually looking pretty good from the outside. Oh, from the outside. Eventually, though, yeah, I'm gonna need to grab some clay to turn all that into bricks. But for now, let's head to the new area. Nope. Let's head to the new area. So let's see. Our goals right now: we need to find that castle to get the blueprints for a defensive structure. We need what is it? Oh, we need to be an iron scorpion. They're both in that direction. I also want to grab some clay while I'm here. Actually, let's do that first, because I think the clay is, like, right here. Clay usually is in the, uh, cliff sides. Here we go. So, yeah, clay blocks look a bit different than, uh, normal dirt blocks. They have those lines instead of the dirt pattern. Also, I have a second hammer with me, right? Yep, we're good. Just wanted to make sure we have a second one, just in case this one breaks. Because we are using it pretty heavily. Also, while we're here, let's grab some coal and some, uh, copper. Actually, this would go by a lot quicker once we get some more skills with the hammer and with weapons in general. So we need about five, uh, what is it? We do need five clay blocks per brick wall. And then we can turn, I think, a bunch of dirt walls with that into brick walls. So I think that should be enough. Actually, yeah, that's more than enough. Perfect. Alright, time to go exploring. I also want to make myself a new shield at some point. And by new shield, I mean a shield. We don't have an old shield yet. I think we have the wood already. If not, it's not like it's time to find wood back at camp. Well, not camp. Back at home. Actually, what wood we call that? Probably home. Also silver over there. We don't need silver at the moment. I think the proper term for it in this game is your base. Oh, well, whatever. How are we doing on hunger? We're okay on hunger right now. Hi there! You guys try to blow up my base! Payback's fun. They didn't even really do any damage. Oh, hey, a graveyard! Whoa! Oh, I stuck onto some ivy, that's why. Oh! I'm okay. Oh, you want me to fix up your graveyard? Actually, yeah, that would probably be a good idea. Alright, so if we learn how to make a gravestone, we can come back and fix it. I think they're missing two of them. Yeah, I think I'm, yeah, I'm missing two of them. I see it now. Alright, so if we ever find the recipe for gravestones, we can just fix up this graveyard real quick. Also, yeah, this chest is locked. It won't unlock unless we do the side quest. I'll have to remember to uh, come back here with some gravestones later. Actually, I think if we find some gravestones out in the wild, we could probably use them instead. But no, I think we're probably going to need to find the recipe eventually. So next time we're in the desert area, or once we discover the desert area, we'll have to keep an eye out for that. Alright, so let's see, what am I looking for at the moment? I think that's the old castle we're looking for, and then past there is probably where the Iron Scorpion is. Let's go down there. Carefully this time, because I'm pretty sure this fall would kill me. Eh, that still hurt. I'm okay, though. Here we go. Oh, no, there's the Iron Scorpion. He looks really big. We should probably be careful, especially when he's doing that. Oop. Oh, I thought that guy died already. Oh, yeah, he kind of hurts. Good thing we have the uh, leather armor with us now. Increase our defense quite a bit. Also, his hitbox is kind of weird. That's the problem with big monsters sometimes. Their hitbox is a bit bigger than what it looks like. And your attack range is so small that it's really easy to accidentally run into them. Alright, perfect. So we beat the Iron Scorpion. Now all we need to do is go find that castle. Oh, are we gonna- yeah, we're gonna have to do some mountain climbing. That's fine. It's not like it's hard to climb mountains in this game. It just takes a lot of dirt. Also, I probably shouldn't be using my hammer- or my uh, sword like that. Hi there! Alright, so how far away are we from the castle? Can we see it from here? Not yet. Unfortunately, the tops of mountains tend not to have a whole lot of things that we can grab. 
there are stuff inside the mountains that we can grab, because usually that's where all the mining areas are. But yeah, up here, unless we want stone. Actually, that's not even stone. I think that's... What is that? Can I grab it? No, we can't. Our hammer is just going to smash it a bit. Oh, there's the castle. Oh, yeah, that's a pretty obvious castle. Is that wheat? Also, was that a fireball? I think the wyverns are shooting fireballs at me. Oh, yeah, I think that's wheat over there. Let's go grab some. I think with this, we can make bread. Yep. We learned how to make bread. Not that we really ever need to make bread, but at least we know how to. Anyways, there's no point in fighting these guys. We don't get experience or anything. I'm fine. I might want to throw out some healing items soon. Oh! Hi there! Ah! That's a ghost! Oh, okay. So, let's see. Stone wall blocks and spike traps. Oh, whoops. Um... Those magically got sent b Oh, uh... I need to run home and grab those again. Kind of forgot about that. I'll go back in a minute. Let's explore the area a bit more. Ooh, a door. Let's explore the area and loot the place a bit. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Whoops. I kind of forgot that you need empty inventory slots for this area. Wait, that book is actually real? I kind of assumed Robo was actually making it up. Because the voice from the heavens told me to? Alright, guess we're heading to the roof. Can I take this chair? I can't take the chair. Awesome. There's some pretty high-end furniture in here, too. So yeah, we need to meet him up in the roof. Unfortunately, half the building has fallen apart, so we need to be careful. Or just play it safe and build our own path, like he said. Actually, yeah, let's just build our own path. It's not that hard. I'm gonna need to grab some more dirt later, though. There we go. Uh, I think we're almost up there. Yeah, we're almost there. Can I take this door? Oh, I can't take the door. Yeah, I'm just gonna take everything that isn't nailed down. Actually, can I make it up there from here? I can. It's kind of appropriate that we're up here, like, at dusk. Also, I lied. Apparently, roofs do exist in this universe. Can I take these tiles, actually? Oh, it is roof. Oh, roof tiling, huh. Actually... Oh, whoops. I could make ourselves a... Once we get to the top of the tower, I could make a roof out of this stuff. Because I don't think we ever get the recipe for roof tiling. I'm just going to take a couple of squares, if you don't mind. It's not like you're doing... Oh, crap! Whoops. Well, that happened. We're going to need to go back for our stuff in the morning. Yeah, I kind of forgot the dangers of working with a roof like that. Well, uh, we'll go right back. Actually, while we're here. So yeah, whenever you die, you just drop, drop half your stuff. As in half of every single stack that you're carrying. It's going to stay there, though. So we can just go grab it right now. But yeah, before we head back, let's empty our inventory and grab what we uh, needed. You and you. Actually, we don't need to rebuild it, but we might as well. Actually, while I'm here, I'm just going to turn in some quests. So yeah, we just learned how to do a spin attack. That is honestly one of the most helpful moves in the game. Not in terms of combat, but in terms of gathering stuff, because you can do it with a hammer. 
So yeah, now we can pretty much just mass harvest everything in the area. Which is fine with me. And some healing cream. Uh, but yeah, let's get back out there. That was embarrassing. Alright, it shouldn't be too long of a walk though. I'm just gonna ignore all the enemies. We don't really need anything from them at the moment. Oh, I could have crafted myself a shield while I was back there too. Eh, we don't need it. I'll make one when we're back uh, there later. Also, I just realized that this iron, or not iron, this leather armor doesn't have any sleeves. That seems like a weak point. Then again, most people tend to go for the chest area because that's where all your vital stuff are, or vital stuff is. Anyways. Uh, but yeah, maybe we shouldn't gather the roof tiles right now. Or at least make sure there's like, we set up like a good scaffolding whenever we do that. Either way, I think I have enough roof tiles for now. If I need more, I'll just go back for them. But yeah, let's be careful with fall damage. There we go. Made our way down safely. I do still have some wings, right? Yeah, I do. Plus, I think I dropped some in the area, so we can just grab those if we really need a wing. Oh, right. Climbing up is a bit more annoying when I blocked off some of the entrances with my own dirt. There we go. Oh, speaking of dirt, yeah, we need to gather more dirt. I'm just gonna ignore you guys and hope that I don't get hit with a fireball to the back of the head. Alright, so are we almost there? We should be seeing it on the horizon pretty soon. Now, this place is actually further away than I remember it being. Oh, there it is. You can see it through the fog. I would say that's due to draw di distance, but this is the PS4. Pretty sure it should be able to handle that type of draw distance. Alright, we're almost there. Just need to be careful. Oh, we are starting to run low on food. I have plum berries, though. We'll be fine. Hey, I'm just gonna have one right now, just in case. So yeah, I'm back. Sorry about that, about accidentally magically sending away your stuff. I can fix this. Nope, come on, stick it there. And then just fill in the holes of the uh, spike trap line. There we go. Okay, now we just need to kill these monsters. But yeah, this is pretty much how it works. They step on the spikes, they get hurt. And since it's made out of stone, they can't break through it. So yeah, all things considered a pretty handy defensive uh, device, even though it is really simple. Although honestly, you can pretty much just do the same thing with just spikes everywhere. Also, spikes don't hurt us, because we're friendly. I suppose. It is really simple, but it is really effective. There are some more later in the game that we can unlock that are even more effective. And in fact, we can start getting some, uh, start getting creative with some of the defensive things that we can unlock, but for now, spikes are pretty helpful. Oh yeah, we were about to go meet him on the roof when... Unfortunate things happened. Oh well, well, he helped him. Actually, can I get this back? Oh, I can't get it back. Also, new charge attack. Very helpful for breaking things. That being said, be really careful about using that at base. I have accidentally destroyed entire rooms uh, using that before. There we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna take all those free materials, because why not? There's my stuff. I'm just gonna take all this back now, if you don't mind. Alright, what are we doing again? Back to the roof. This time with less falling. Hopefully. Oh, wait, wait, okay, good. I just remembered there was a hole there. Is there anything over here that we missed? Uh, no, that's just... Actually, that was probably a quicker way up. Oh, well. 
Oh, I should probably take those stairs, too. Oh, I should take this ladder, too, before I go. Alright, so where is he? I don't see him. They're around here somewhere. Also, yeah, let's be super careful up here. I don't want to fall again. Oh, I see a treasure chest. I will take that. What's in here? Okay, there's a wing. Just in case you didn't bring one, it's just an easy way to get uh, back home. Oh, I see him. He's over there. Let's play it super safe. Oop, there we go. Hi there. Yeah, sorry for the wait. I got distracted. But yeah, unfortunately, everything's gonna be overcast for a while. But yeah, I kind of do like that all the old ghosts talk in the old, uh, like, old type of English like they did in the original Dragon Quest. Anyways, chest unlocked, let's grab this blueprint and just go home. Oh, we got, eh, it doesn't matter, I just need, I need it at home anyways. Alright, time to head back. Actually, before we head back, though, like I said, there are a couple things I want to grab, like ladders. Do I want to, no, I don't want to grab any more roof tiles. Not after what happened last time. Oh, we should also grab those stairs down. Eh, I can start making my own stairs at this point. We don't need to grab everything. I'm just gonna go see if there's any more rare furniture that we could get. How do I get out of here again? Oh, right. Is this the right way? Yeah, it is. Just wanna make sure that I grab onto the ladder. Let's see, is there anything else rare that I want in this building? Kind of want that candelabra. Actually, yeah, there's nothing else here that we super need. Let's just get out of here. I'm just gonna fall. Actually, I'm gonna grab these pots. Pots are always helpful. And barrels. Alright, let's go home. It is already almost nighttime. Oh, that was an exciting trip. Alright, so let me see. Uh, where are those blueprints? There they are. Well, documents. Let's stick what we don't need in here. Stone walls. Do I need fur on me? No, I don't. Alright, let's deliver these and then we'll probably call it a day. It's starting to get late. We should probably go to bed. Where is Rolo? Oh, he's up there. How did they get... How? Wait, what the? How? I am actually confused on how they got up here. Did they actually jump? Oh, the pod. They probably used the pod to jump over here. Also, is there a way out of here without me falling? Nope. Anyways, here are your defensive designs. Thanks for that, Romo. You're the best. Oh, another quest. Okay, you just want me to build a stone stockade. I actually do have the materials for that already. I actually took all the materials from the old stone stockade and just kept them. Yeah, I don't think the game expected you to just grab everything when you left. Alright, so they usually attack from the west side of town. I think that's from... where is it? That direction over there? What are you doing? How did you forge a blueprint? It's paper. Well, we just learned how to make some new stuff. Oh, stone cla- ooh, stone cladding. Oh, but what would look better, though? 
Alright, we can build some new stuff. Here we go. Alright, so let me see. I think I can build these over here. Here we go. Oh, stone cladding. How would that look? I kind of want more brick than stone, to be honest. I think brick looks better. So let's just make some bricks. And then I'm going to start turning all these walls into brick walls. I think three should be enough. Or three stacks should be enough. There we go. So yeah, cladding. Here's how it works. Basically, if you use it, any walls around you will turn into brick walls. There we go. It has a pretty small area of effect, though. Also, it doesn't help that the camera in here doesn't really work just because it's so crowded. Actually, it might be easier from the outside. There we go. Looking better now. Also, apparently it counted the floor as uh, walls. Well, that's fine. We have brick floors now. That doesn't look as good, but that's okay. Also do it from the outside, too. Yeah, unfortunately, the game doesn't always determine what's a wall and what isn't that well. So yeah, we're going to be having brick wall or floors for a little bit until I can fix that. Perfect. Yeah, or, uh, one second. This area still needs to be fixed up. It's looking good, except for that one weird stripe over here. Oh, I'm okay. I'm going to need to fix this from the outside. Alright, perfect. We kind of need a window from this side too, though. There we go. Alright, so yeah, our tower is looking pretty nice. I think it needs some more lights on the outside, actually. I think I can make some sconces for it. Ooh, braziers might be good. Let's make a single brazier. And then make a couple sconces. We can make two. At this point, this has nothing to do with how the tower actually functions. It's all about looks. Maybe not enough space. There we go. Oh, I think I see what's happening. Wait, no I don't. Huh. Oh, I think it's because I'm not far enough away. It's trying to put it inside the wall. Ah, eh, that's unfortunate. Oh, perfect. Nope, come on. Alright, there we go. Looks a lot better now. Also, we need food. There we go. Alright, we're good on hunger now. But yeah, looking pretty good now. That being said, we've run into the problem that my villagers are stuck on the outside somehow. They'll relocate eventually. Uh, but we are running into the problem that it's going to look weird if we make it too wide. I might want to start another tower on this side of the town. Oh, that reminds me. What was Pippa's request again? She wanted a changing room. This is the first, I think this is the first time that we have like free reign of what we want to do with it. Okay, here we go. So we just need a couple of stone stools and armoire. I think it's two stone stools and armoire. Okay. And the door and the... What is it? And a door and a light source. Oh! Looks like we're going to start being under attack at night. So yeah. These guys like to come out at night. They throw fireballs. They can't break anything, but they're annoying. I'm going to bed. But yeah, now all we need to do is build that dressing room, and then build ourselves... What is it? Build a dressing room, uh, and then build a stone stockade. They come from the west, so yeah, that direction. Actually, we could transition this into a tower. It'd be a weirdly shaped... Eh, I kind of want to keep this like this. Yeah, you know what? Let's turn... Let's do a second tower on this side of the uh, village. Town. What's the difference between a town and a village? I think villages are smaller. First things first, though, we need to clear out the area before we build anything. I kind of want to make it a mirror image. In terms of at least the ground floor. So let me see here. How far... Or how far wide? 
How wide is it over here? Hmm. Okay, so one, two... Actually, I can just do this. Oh, I do need to start getting some more dirt. Let me see, and then it starts over here. Actually, they don't need to be mirror images, I just want them to line up properly. So that should be good. And I'll leave one square on the outside just in case we need to stick something over there. I think I might need some more stone steps at some point, though. Uh, I think it's wide enough. I'm just gonna look at it from over here. Yeah, it should be wide enough. Oh, I do want to... Hmm. Actually, wait. We could make a treasure room somewhere in this area, too, with the... Uh, actually, I don't think I want to move the colossal coffer. I think if you do everything that's in it, it spills out. So I think it's just going to have its permanent home over there. Because, yeah, I don't want to risk spilling everything out of there. Actually, no, I don't want to risk spilling everything out of there. Not right now. Anyways, I need more dirt. I'm just going to flatten this entire area. Actually, another hammer might not be a bad idea at this point. Alright, that should be enough. Uh, maybe one more. There we go. Because, yeah, the spin attack also hits one square above your head. Or not above your head, but it's basically a two square attack. Two squares high is how far it hits. That's a better way of putting it. Alright, perfect. 99 pieces of dirt should be enough. Oh, is there? Oh, there's still some dirt over there. I'll fix that later. It's not important right now. But yeah, whenever I'm building any building, I usually just use dirt, because it's super easy to get. And then just use cladding later to uh, turn into other types of blocks. Alright. And then let's make a third layer up. Just so I can start building on top of it. And not have to worry about the camera going crazy. Gonna leave a window. Gonna leave a window on all sides. Just makes it look better from the outside, I think. They don't need to line up at all. There we go. Alright, so let's see what we need for an armoire and a... And some stone stools. Actually, I'm gonna need stone for that. Oh, we should also probably move the forge to its own room, too. Because it's really crowded in this room. Alright, so let me see. Stone... No, not uh, table. Stools. I think I need two of these. Oh, they're in the colossal coffer. That's fine. I'll grab them later. And then an armoire. What do I need for this? Oh, I need a copper ingot. Actually, don't I have copper? I do. Let's make 15 of them. I'm gonna need more coal later, though. And then let's put a... Oh, we also need a light source in there. Let's make another sconce. I just love the word sconce. And then, uh, let's see, we have two of those, an armoire. And I think that should be everything we need. Alright, let's grab them out of here. Oh, I still have that fried egg with me. I need to eat that later. Oh, why am I still carrying the dye with me, too? I don't need that. Alright, so let me see. I need a door. We'll use this one. I need, uh, that sconce, I need... Oh, I need these stone walls to build the barricade with. What else do I need? Might as well grab the pots. Actually, no, I'll keep the pots in here for now. Uh, I need... That's everything I need. No, wait, I need those, uh, stone stools. Where are they? There they are. Alright, that should be good. So let me see if this is the right combination of items. Sconce... Actually, that should be one more up. Oh, well. That, that, and then the armoire, which I forgot to make. Actually, wait, no, I think I made it. Did I forget to take it out of the uh, colossal coffer? Or did I just completely forget to make it? Nope, there it is. There we go. Made our first dressing room. So, yeah, now everyone's gonna have snazzy new outfits. Because everyone right now is still in rags. I might have made it a bit big. Uh, oh well. Are those two still stuck up there? Oh my god. 
That's gonna be a problem. Here, I'm gonna give him a way out of there. Actually, wait, do I have a pot with me? That would look better from the outside. Because, yeah, I made the walls too tall for them to scale normally. And by that, I mean two. Alright, you two. There, you can use that to climb out. Oh my god. But yeah, residents will never take falling damage because they refuse to go off cliffs. Which is pretty smart of them, but still. It's annoying. That was not very smart of me. But yep, everyone has snazzy new outfits now. Ew. That sounds painful, actually. Alright. Well, got ourselves a change of room. So now all we need to do now is build that barricade. But I think I'll do that next time. Also, I'm just gonna stick this over here. So, next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest Builders, we're gonna see about getting that second tower up. And then we need to probably do some more quests. So, till then. Also, yeah, this entire area of the town, I need to figure out what I want to do with it. Maybe I'll make a pool. Actually, there's no water around here. I still, a pool would be a good idea. So, till then.